It's like right before you get it, you gotta go through something, yeah Boy, that pain don't last forever, you the chosen one I've been going through all these battles, but I keep holding on That's why I like about you with YouTube. You don't really give a fuck. Nobody got to say. You just do that shit because you trying to get your bread. Alone, this shit get ugly. In the wood, writing raps. Nigga play, he make it clap. No handshakes, ain't giving down. Tell her run up a million, I can't relax. Only me showing up my feet, spurkers. Don't pop so you don't deserve me. Smoke a little weed, but this shit a little heavy. Baby, slow it down, no, I won't let you hurt me. Came a long way, can't let you deserve me. 2019, I was a scholar. 2024, I'm chasing a dollar. Don't care about no Gucci, don't care. What's good, YouTube? You already know you better with another video about the best shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> What's good, YouTube? You already know. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? You already know. We back with another video. I'm about that being said, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell button on. If you new here, bro, go check out my last video that I posted, bro. I had some little drama going on in my hometown, but y'all check that out for me. But at the end of the day, bro, we about to get into what we got going on, bro. So basically, I had watched this video, fool. So Brooklyn Queen drop her first. Girl talk with three other girls, right? And it kind of got messy, bro. It got messy where she was talking about somebody. I don't right. put anything past no one. You know, when your best friend, um. When the situation had happened between my ex and my best friend, mm -hmm. right. He was already my ex, but I still had like so much love for him. And like he wasn't trying to text you like get back together every moment of his life exactly. like pulling up to like, your house 24 7 like he thought he was eating so she ate but anyway he didn't <laughs> <laughs> he slumped but like Ooh. the point is like your loyalty is supposed to be with me no matter what like, right well when you're best friends code, then like, no yeah girl codes are honestly big, deeper no, than girl no. code like she broke everything that's not even the bad part no if they would have came to me and said that they wanted to be in a relationship Pursue mess with something. each other Ew. i would have felt some type of way but the worst part the worst part about it is that it happened in my room in my house no and the crazy thing i already knew who she was talking about but i didn't know who the guy was i thought the guy was somebody else bro but be real the guy is somebody we really never see but the guy kind of look you know what i'm saying but <laughs> if y'all know, I think the dude named Chucky or something like that. Some somebody Brooke used to talk to, bro, from uh, her hometown. And I seen him, he about they little, you know what I'm saying? He about my height, I ain't gonna lie. But um, to be real, so that happened. And I was gonna react to it, but you no, know, I ended up watching. And then turn around, I get on the internet and see that Yanni went live, bro. So Yanni went live, she talked to her live. She didn't want to add Brooke. And y'all know when people don't want to add people on their live. Y'all already know that they in their feelings. So she and her feelings, like, you know, at the end, they're going to hate her, all this, this, and that. I thought she was going crazy, bro. But I'm going to let y'all see what she was saying, all that. What a whoop. So after she said all that, the last part shows how mad Yanni is, bro. She is mad, bro. Brooklyn was in the comments, though. Y'all look at that shit. Brooklyn was in the comments for real. And they were just going back and forth, bro. But Brooklyn basically was telling her to add up there, but she didn't want to add Brooklyn up there. And everybody else was telling her that, but she was like, no. There was somebody in the back talking. I don't know who it was. It sounded like an older lady, but I feel like she had need to shut up. But, um. <laughs> um. Y'all, my blood is literally boiling. I like, I no words <laughs> no words like literally no freaking words <sighs> one thing i'm sick of with this whole youtube industry and these fucking people is this none of these people are your friends first of all none of these people care about you at 
are. All they care about. All they care about is themselves and their image and who they are. That's it. Point blank. Period. Y'all can say all Yanni wants to do is play the victim. I'm not. Nobody's trying to play the victim. But I know who is trying to play the victim. And for you to keep sitting here telling this story, it's literally sickening to me. It's, I, I'm not, I'm not playing, I'm not, I didn't stay quiet, I didn't shut up, I didn't bow down, I didn't done all that, I didn't kneel, okay, fine, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be like you, I'm, I'm gonna take the high road and be a bigger person and be a better person, because, it, because I, I don't gotta do all that, I don't have to. Miss Kim, come no, see shut me, up. shut up. At the end of the day, I've been a cool, and I've been, I didn't let all it go, but I'm sick of this shit. so I'm gonna explain to y'all what the heck. This is what happened. Boom. I go to Detroit with this. Mind you, this is not abnormal for us to go to Detroit, right? Boom. I go with you. I'm staying at your house in a city that I do I don't have no family. You're my only friend there. I'm with you. I'm trusting you and your mother. Okay? I'm with you. At your house. At your house. Staying at your home, your residence, where you always, first of all, this was never a problem before. Your ex was living there. Your ex was living there when you was in Troy. Let's say that. Let's say facts. Your ex was living there when you was in Troy too. It wasn't Boom. even an ex. It wasn't even an ex because you were still in him also. Bada bing, bada boom. Boom. So I'm staying there, right? Staying there, you have a Cinco de Mayo party. It's a whole bunch of people that come over for this Cinco de Mayo party. Everybody's drinking. You're drinking. I'm drinking. We're all drinking, right? The end of the night comes. Everybody pretty much leaves. You get into an argument with this nigga because you went through his phone and found out he was texting shit, right? Boom. At that point, I was already stumbling to the room. I go in your room because I always stayed in your room. Your whole family knew that I always stayed in your room. Okay, I was all I would always sleep there when we would go to Detroit. You would let me stay in your room and nobody else, everybody knew that. They wouldn't come in there. You're if they did come, they would knock. This night, I'm in this room. I as soon as I get in the bed, I just fell asleep in that bed. I'm like turned over. I got jewels coming out of my mouth. Turned like this. This comes in the room and sits his on my lips and I turn my head making sure he knows it's a no like I open my eyes and see him and him shook as the because what the f boom all no the room boom mind you Brooklyn her room is connected to the living room so mind you she sleep on the couch in her living room do you understand what I'm saying I'm literally right the rooms is literally right here. Her room, the living room. She sleep on the couch. Don't nobody want this nigga. This the littlest, this is shorter than me. He wear a size smaller than me, man. Nobody want this dirty low down, small aga, dope bitch. This is a do on my soul. I'm being cool to you. You you asking me, you begging me down. Oh, don't let him know that I was with such and such. Boom. I'm keeping cool. I'm not letting him know you was, I even kept the internet cool. I ain't tell nobody you wicked. I took all the blame for all that. No, we was with the same nigga. You knew that. It don't matter you ain't say my name, bitch. You might as well have. You keep going with this line and narrative. Bitch. This nigga literally sat here and said, and when I contacted the police, the police contacted you and you made sure that you didn't talk to the police, you or your mother, okay? The police called you and your mother. The swear. But boom. But you were supposed to be protecting you while you're up under that roof. It was their mother's was their responsibility to protect me. Why would you, you have a random up in the house? Exactly. I'm in a, it's somebody so I'm in the No. Then this is what this is where y'all come from. This is y'all storyline. Boom. Oh, well, he said that he was high. Okay. Well, guess which I was drunk. So it made it right because he was hate. Oh, okay, whatever. Then boom, y'all said, well, he, I said, well, why was he coming in the room in the first place? Da 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 da. Y'all talk about, well, he said he went in there to go get pajama pants. 
But he shouldn't even be there. He should have told you to get the fuck it. So this is coming in for pajama pants and coming there and trying to stick his mouth in my mouth and I turn away and all of a sudden this cracker is right because you want to believe in it so bad yeah. and you feel like I'm such a... No, okay, but this, no, no shut up. No, no shut up. You, no, no shut up. So I'm such a... I'm this, I'm that. Yanni's a... So she must have did it. And when it come down to it, everybody want to say, oh, well, it must be true because you went back to her ex. But that was my name first. That I'm with right now was my mother's first clock it. Let's do a let's do a lie detector test. Bitch. You better put that same energy on that for fucking sir. And for you to still be contacting my nigga and telling my nigga how I'm a hoe and this, that, and the third. But that shit weird. You literally, literally texting my nigga talking about, well, be careful with her, cause you know she a hoe. Why are you still worried about me? Why do you care? Why do you care? Why are you texting my nigga saying that? That's weird. Because I keep letting all this shit slide. I be letting you slide, Brooklyn. I'm not gonna lie. You made plenty of TikTok subliminals to me, all types of shit. But as soon as I get on this bitch, the internet hate me because I want, because I get, to, I can't talk my shit. That's just weird. You need to move on. You need to get a life. And no, I'm not adding you because I never wanted to start this internet beef with you. But you, you want wanted it. it. You wanted it. You wanted it. So there you go. You got it, bitch. <laughs> but you know, it is what it is, bro. Like, be honest, bro, I'm loving this because, like, y'all already know how Brooke come, bro. Brooke gonna come with the heat or whatnot. So, me, I'm like, dang, I didn't even know this was going on. And on top of that, I seen in that video that they had posted that Brooke had posted a video of her on the phone with Troy. Tell me why we feel. We get into a fearless argument. And then she seen, she seen I've been texting you or whatever. And she's sitting up here talking about, oh, if you want to be with Brooklyn, just go be with Brooklyn and whoop the wood and you and Brooklyn are just alike. Y'all are meant for each other. Y'all y'all think just alike. And all these, I'm like, what the? Son, talking about you and Brooklyn are evil. It's, it's above. Troy was, and you know, this ain't the old shit because if y'all see the video, like, Troy really look like that right now, bro. Not like and not the old jump when they was together and stuff like that. But um, at the end of the day, I feel like she posted that. And then I was like, okay, let me go check her Instagram out. So I go on Instagram. And she was kind of like, you know, talking her shit, bro. Like, she was like, baby, this why you mad? With the crying emoji and the little heart eyes thing. And Troy was basically saying how, you know, I'm going to let y'all see all that. Y'all check that out. But he was saying all that stuff, bro. So I'm just like, okay, okay. I feel you, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, y'all got to understand, bro. Rich boy Troy is young, bro. He's a guy. He making money. He getting views. So I don't even expect him to even, like, literally be settling down with Yanni, bro. Yanni is a little older than her, him. And I know she probably want that, but it's like, you a little older, bro. He young, bro. That man still got growing to do, bro. So I don't even know why they even got in a relationship, to be honest with y'all, bro. So, like, that was crazy. Because then he with you. Then I know he done cheated on you a bunch of times. Huh? Brooklyn done kind of throw shots towards that, bro. You know? And then he started talking to Brooke, and then find out him and Brooke, look, he's still texting. You with a man, he's still texting the girl, telling the girl to come see him and all this, bro. But he on the internet making you look stupid, really, because he asked you to be his girlfriend. Then y'all went to prom. <sighs> I don't even think Rich Boy Troy should have got in a relationship, bro. To be honest. To be honest. And it's crazy. I didn't even know Brooklyn was really messing around with Rich Boy Troy. I thought it was just for content, bro. But I guess that shit was real. But, yeah, then after that, Brooklyn just started, you know, dropping these little songs. Well, one of her fans went crazy first, bro. A friend, one of her fans... 
did their thing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, they snapped, fool. And right after that, Brooklyn was like, you know, throwing shots with these songs, and she was talking. I was like, okay, there go Brooklyn talking her shit. Stop all that motherfucking yelling, ho. Cause we not buying what you selling, ho. Think I'm the shit, bitch. I know it, ho. Jesus fucked on water. Brooke Ayani boiling, ho. I DM riding off, better hold your nigga tight Before I make you come up off him Say two rounds don't make a right But I'm the tight, get one up on him Say R&B, but bitch, I'm really hurt Fuck wrong with niggas How you let them cheat and take them back? Must be your only nigga But it shit go where I'm thinking going To be honest, bro The diss from Brooklyn is coming The diss is coming, bro Y'all know, bro Eat every time she make a diss about somebody, bro. She don't miss, fool. Her music already good, but when she make a diss about a nigga, she be hitting home. She be spilling tea, and niggas be mad at her for doing that. But I feel like at the end of the day, bro, she talking her shit, fool. She be talking shit. Got to stun on a lot of niggas, because niggas be sleep on you, bro. Or they be doing a little slick shit, bro. They be like, oh, Yanni trying to play victim and stuff like that. But they say the same thing about Brooke. But at the end of the day, bro, who know what the true story is, bro? You know, because at the end of the day, both can have wrongs in this situation, bro. But, like, I, I'm, at the end of the day, bro, when it come down to, like, beefing, bro, I'm going to have to give it to Brooke, bro, because she going to eat every time, bro. There's nothing Yanni can do to come harder than Brooke, bro. Like, true shit. <laughs> But that shit, that shit about to get crazy, though. We're going to stay tuned. We're going to see what's going on, for real. We're going to analyze all this, see what, who's saying this, saying that. But I'm going to react to everything, bro. Niggas drop a diss. I'm going to react to it. React to it. <laughs> react to it. <laughs> I'm going to react to it, bro. But um, y'all stay tuned for that, bro. Tell me in the comments what y'all think about the whole situation. Stuff y'all know, let it let me know in the comments, bro. Let me know in the comments, bro. Run it up, bro. I really want to talk about it, bro. But I will respond by everybody, though. Remember that. But we ought to thank you, dude.